Please provide me with the information as soon as possible as it is an essential need. Public transportation is a crucial part of society because of its convenience. It provides countless benefits to the public. However, its drawbacks must be addressed. I will suggest the significant public transport problem and submit viable solutions. Followed by a reasonable conclusion. The main problem is that a large population worldwide uses public transit for daily commutes, which often causes human congestion. As a result, people tend to pursue private transportation. Moreover, highly populated countries such as Japan, India, and China need help to provide proper transportation facilities to their public. People from these countries have to face a lot of difficulties. To cite an example, the most populated city, Mumbai in India, has recorded around 5,000 deaths every year due to poor transportation systems their individuals often die while boarding trains and buses. The most feasible solution is implementing proper plans and structures for transportation. Especially in immensely polluted cities, the government may include accurate timings, target audience, and transportation routes to mitigate human congestion. For example, during the 19th century, England invented double decker buses.
The innovation allowed their buses to accommodate double the number of passengers on a single trip. To conclude, public transit is still popular even though it has disadvantages. To provide flawless services to its customers, the government must take the initiative and improve it. Otherwise, it will lose the popularity of public transportation. Well, I usually celebrate my birthday with my friends. And we like to go outside. And we eat a lot and after that. If we want we can go to some clubs to dance and apart from this. Sometimes I enjoy being at home with my family and friends. The most memorable birthday celebration I have ever had is still fresh in my mind. The most memorable birthday I ever had was my sixth birthday because my father organized a grand party then, and we invited all our relatives and friends. The exciting thing about it is that I received a lot of gifts over there. Like hundreds of them. It was a very different feeling I could not express. Like how excited I am when I open gifts. So that's one of my most memorable birthdays.
Birthdays are more critical for both children and adults. Their arena Euro TNE preferences. There is only a difference in the celebration. Children are more excited about their birthdays than adults because adults, whenever they get their senses, usually think that birthdays are a common thing and a typical day. It's more critical to the children because they enjoy the excitement and the importance of the birthday. Moreover, birthday celebrations differ between my culture and others. Like in my culture, most people like to spend their birthdays with their families and friends rather than parties. They usually spend their birthdays at home. They can organize a little party in the backyard or maybe in their gardens. But if I talk about Western culture, most people organize a grand party. They invited their relatives and friends. Apart from that, some people like to attend clubs to enjoy their birthday parties. Talking about specific birthday traditions or customs in your country, there is no such custom and tradition. The only thing is that our parents ask us to go to religious places like Sikh people go to the Gurdwaras and Hindus go to the Mandir where they seek blessings of their worship gods for their long life and wish for an extended life.
If I get a chance I would prefer small birthday parties because I don't like crowded places and I don't want to celebrate my birthday at such a big occasion so I like small gatherings. And I think it's perfect like it's just invited your close friends rather than like many more. Friends. I received a lot of gifts on my birthdays, but if I had to pick one up, it would have been a gift given by my father about three or four years ago. It was like the Apple iPhone XS. It was newly launched, and I eagerly wanted that. I remember asking my father for that, but he denied it that time. He gave me a surprise on my birthday, as he gifted me a mobile phone, and I remember feeling thrilled. I was on cloud nine after receiving that gift. Well, it's a good thing for me because when bypassing the time, I'm getting my senses, and I will become mature like every year, but the only thing I consider like is I'm getting older. You know, my life is passing, and sooner, like my childhood has gone, and then my adult has gone, but now, I'm living in adulthood.
Definitely yes. I think it's a good thing to remember the birthdays of their parents and their family and friends. Because this is the thing by which we can show how much we love them and we are. You know we know their values and like how important they are for us. by wishing them happy birthdays. Especially at noon and at the start of the day. They give them happiness on their birthdays. It happened to me quite often as I needed to improve the numbers. Especially remembering dates. One incident happened with my friend Akshay because he was in India. I recently came to Canada. And it was his birthday in the same month. But I completely forgot because everything was new here in Canada for me. And I was swamped here. So at that time, I completely forgot his birthday. I remember that he was cold on me. And he was like he's pissed off at me because it's never happened before. So, but I apologized to him. I sent him a very precious gift. A silver bracelet. And after that, he was pleased and liked it. So yeah, he was delighted after seeing it. 